You're back for more of the deuce here on BuzzChomp. We are almost at the end of this amazing TV series. I'm Dan Sale, talking episode six, season three, the final season. We finally hit our breaking point and everything's starting to fall apart. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to BuzzChomp. Woo! I dubbed last week the downfall and this week was certainly the breaking point for nearly everyone in this show. I think Candy might be the only one with a happy ending and therefore her breaking point was almost a break in the right direction. Her and Harvey finally shared a kiss, but then it ended there. I called that maybe they'd get together this season. I didn't think she'd have another guy that was actually better for her. I don't really think that's going anywhere, but he's she kind of like had a breakthrough with her movie and he's gonna half fund it. I don't know where the other half's gonna come from, probably from Vinny. So she had a breakthrough, but her breaking point was the fact that she lost her mother and so that kind of like severed the ties with her father and then her son missed it. So she hung up on him and it was kind of like, I'm done with my past. I can see my future clearly now. This is a breakthrough breaking point for Candy who's the only one with a potential happy ending in store with two episodes to go. Vinny hit his breaking point as he avenged Frankie's death. He almost killed Rudy, but then Rudy, he could tell was being honest and didn't know anything. So then he let him live only for Rudy to get killed later by his second in command. Whoa, right? Kill or be killed, kill or be killed. But Frankie was Vinny's tipping point and then the breaking point came when you see his life kind of unravel. He's got the gun, his love, love, doesn't like the gun, but then they sort of reconnect and they've come full circle to the start of their relationship. But he's not the same good kind man he was before. He's broken now. I think that Vinny's, who's been the mob's biggest earner, they wanted to murder him, but then Rudy protected him. Now Rudy's gone. This is Vince's out, right? He's pushed out and he'll go fund Candy's movie and that will be that. We saw Lori totally hit her breaking point and she shows up for another porn movie shoot and this time they want her to bang like 12 or 15 men, a whole football team's worth. And she's blindsided, it wasn't in her contract, she had no idea. She fires her agent, she leaves Los Angeles, finds her boyfriend sort of cheating on her, but kind of cheating leaves him, goes back to New York City, because we see that in the teaser. And I think that she'll probably end up in Candy's movie as well. This was like the arc that I foresaw from the beginning. Lori stars in Candy's movie funded by Vinny. It's coming together, people, with only two episodes to go. The breaking point for the AIDS epidemic totally hit home, as at least two other characters definitively have AIDS in the show. No one else died this episode, but... We saw two that definitely have it or have the early signs of it. I think that we're gonna see a few more pop up as this progresses. You can't escape what you've done and you can't escape this virus. And it totally pushes Paul into the activism side of his thing. He may or may not have AIDS, but he's living like he only has a little time left and he's gonna make the most of it and he's loving it. So his breaking point has happened and now he's trying to really make a solid difference. He has a little bit of a connection to the guys in the front office with the city and the police, but uh, I'm not sure he's gonna really pull that string. They're still trying to secure buildings and property around Times Square and it's slowly, slowly working. But they haven't really crossed the quote breaking point there. That's a whole historical arc that's not really gonna be passed in the show unless they jump into the future for the final episode, which is possible, but pretty unnecessary. Bobby is totally broken and hit his breaking point in his life because his brothel whorehouse is falling apart he lost all his women he couldn't protect them he was making them pay way too much money so now they go in and run their business on their own he's not gonna be able to get them back that was basically the crux of this episode with two to go this was the climactic moment of the season of the series for that matter and the breaking point hit every person who was living this life of sin basically has to give it up Vinny has to give it up all his clubs are closed down He's losing his employees. He lost his boss. He, he's basically been shoved out by the mob. They wanted to murder him, and I think his life has been spared, but he's done. Bobby, it's going to get closed down. His tie was to Vinny. Rudy's gone. Frankie's out. Lori closed up shop and left LA because she doesn't want to be this wild and crazy porn star anymore, and I don't blame her. Who wants to screw 15 dudes on camera? No, thank you. This is not what she signed up for. She signed up for, like, one-on-one -on -one in a bedroom, not gangbang in a locker room. And with AIDS really tipping the scales in New York City as more and more people get AIDS and get killed by the disease, everything that this life was is falling apart and it's broken. The prostitution, 
the drugs, the gambling, the late night clubs, the pornography. It was unsustainable and now it's fizzling. Which brings me back to Candy who had a vision for her movie, which was the old way. It broke apart. And now she has a vision of her movie, which is the new way and something more relatable and to the common man. And that's, I mean, porn obviously broke huge from there and went into the common man. And I think that's the, what they're trying to show here is how Candy is pushing the envelope and pushing it towards a relatable genre for everyone. She's like the one character who's constantly overcoming the life that she's chosen to live, whereas everyone else is getting brought down by it. She's the strongest and she's the only one that's gonna come out on top. It's like a matter of who she's gonna take with her. I think she'll take Lori. I think she'll take Vinny. With two episodes to go in our final season, there are so much unanswered questions. How is Candy gonna make her movie? Are we actually gonna to get to see the movie get made with two episodes to go, or is it just gonna get teased that it begins? Is Vincent gonna survive? Is Lori gonna like pretend that she's not the star that she became? Paul, is he gonna to succumb to the virus? Is he gonna really push the envelope as an activist? Is this just gonna be another life goes on type of show, which kind of what it feels like to me. Comment below with your predictions on what you think is going to happen before this series wraps. I'm Dan Salem. I can't wait to watch The End of the Deuce. I might have to re-watch the whole three-hour series because, wow, what a fun, amazing little ride. Woo! Thanks for watching BuzzChop. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Woo!